everyone and welcome back to Carefree Caravanning. So this week's video, we thought we would show you a different side of our uh, aspect to our leisure pursuit. Um, and we wanted to show you, um, for people who are maybe thinking about getting into the camping, caravanning, motorhoming, um, just basically show you a different aspect. So we thought we would start um, do this video. We wanted to show you a, a, a camper van, and, um, but not give you our opinion we are going to let the owner yes, um, yeah. of the uh, the model that we show you um, we're going to let him basically just tell yeah. you why he thinks that you should maybe if you are thinking about doing it maybe why he thinks you should go for a camper van over a motorhome or even a caravan yes i mean when we first started we um, thought about a motorhome we were didn't thinking we? about a motorhome yeah um, but then we just thought about the practicalities yeah um, when and you're on site if you want to go sightseeing it's a bit difficult because you have to pack up yeah but um, then, then I know a lot of people bring a little tow car then, as well, then you get a they? tow car as well but yeah. then it, then we thought well if you've got a car we might as well just get do it the other way around have, yeah. a, have a tow yeah. car and yeah. a caravan that's why yeah. we chose our yeah, we've caravan. got a caravan but today we're going to show you a camper van okay so just for clarification we, this is under no way, there is no, we are not, um, it's not a review on the camper van that we're showing you. We are not reviewing it, we're showing it to you. Um, it's just about getting someone else's opinion on their vehicle to see if it will, yeah. may work for you, if yeah. you're thinking about just starting out in this, um, in this, in this pursuit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna head over to the first one, which is the camper van, and this is owned by, Ian and Tony, husband Ian and, and wife. Ian and Tony, husband and wife, lovely, lovely couple. Um, so, we'll have a little look. This is the camper van we're going to have a look at today. It's a Ducato V-Line Sport, and it belongs to our neighbours, Ian and Tony, and they've very kindly allowed us to have a little peek inside their camper van. So we'll just have a little look round outside beautiful looking vehicle and this particular model also has the garage at the back. Um, most um, camp fans have the double doors that you open but this one actually has the storage underneath at the back which Ian and Tony particularly like. And it's got an onboard water tank, this particular one. And we're not reviewing this just so you know. Um, it's just a case of if you're thinking about, you know, getting into the caravan, motorhome, camper van, um, leisure, pursuit, <laughs> um, then yeah, we just want to show you around and see, see the different options available to you. Right, I think we'll just have a little peek inside. Right, this is absolutely beautiful. This is um, a 2018 model, I believe. Ian and Tony bought this at the Caravan and Motorhome show last year, and it was ready for them in June. So I'm not sure if that would make it a 2018 or 19 model. I'm not sure. It's 2019. Is it 2019? Yeah, okay, so this is, it's a two berth. If you want to have come in. It's absolutely beautiful. Really modern, beautiful upholstery, soft furnishings, lovely neutral colours. Um, you've got a wraparound seating area here. This converts into a double bed. Uh, there's also storage underneath here. You've got your lockers all around the top, soft clothes, I think. Oh, I'm not sure. That, that's not my department. <laughs> and you've got your television to your right. And then here you have your double wardrobe, fridge down here, shower and toilet. It's a bit difficult to open that, but we'll wait to show you that when we come back. Um, it's got a three uh, gas ring burner hob and a combined oven and grill. Your wash basin, lots of storage under here. And a microwave on top and you've also got your pull up flap here which I think is always good to have. Uh, at the front these are your two front seats you've got more storage here and a work 
surface and up the top here you have more storage i don't know anything about the driving of the vehicle it looks like a manual <laughs> yeah, that's, manual. That, that's about all i know and if keith can manage to get in there you've got your combined shower and toilet a little shower curtain really cozy isn't it beautiful very very nice and then above you, you've got your roof light. Look at that beautiful sky that we've got today. Gorgeous weather we're having. This is the storage at the rear that I mentioned um, at the very beginning. Um, Ian calls it his garage. Um, there's loads of storage in here and you've got an external barbecue point over here and there's also an outside shower point here, external shower. And you've also got lots of storage up here which I'm not going to open because it's full of Ian and Tony's personal bits and pieces. But that's great. And down here, as you come in, you've got an electric step um, for easy access in and out. Right, I think it's time we went and had a little chat with Ian, see what he thinks all about this lovely vehicle here. So we thought we would have a quick chat with Ian, who owns this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful mo uh, camper van. Um, so Ian, thanks very much for taking the time to have a little chat with us. Um, just wanted to ask you um, a couple of questions. Is How long have you actually had your... Um, we've only had it four weeks. Four weeks? Yes, yes. Oh, it's, only, it's only the third time we've actually been out in it. Right, but you've been... Um, motorhoming or caravanning or for, for some time prior to that? We, yes, yes. We started off with caravan first. We had a caravan for probably about six or seven years and then we had a coach built motorhome for ten years. Right. And now we own this vehicle. Oh, wow, wow. And, and what, if you don't mind me asking, what made you choose this over the motorhome that you had? Mainly, we, we, we've downsized. Uh, the main reason was uh, my wife, Tony, she wouldn't, well, she, she wasn't very happy driving the bigger van. So we downsized for a smaller van. Basically, she, so she's more happy to drive this size right. van. And this van, um, I mean, weight-wise, do you know how heavy this is? It's, it's, it's classed as three and a half ton. Okay, so anyone can drive anyone it on can a drive standard it. Yes. British driving Correct. license, irrelevant of age. Correct. Right, okay. And um, are you enjoying, are you, are you pleased with the decision you made? on? Yes, we love it. Absolutely love it. Love it. Made the right choice. Right, right. And if you wouldn't mind me, don't mind me asking, just for um, people who've never done this before, um, and who are thinking about maybe, you know, go, getting a, uh, a, um, a motorhome or a camper van, um, what sort of cost is involved? Because obviously you've got habitation or you've got a van, but you've also got the habitation. So um, what sort of cost does it take, uh, cost to um, have it serviced with the actual vehicle and also the habitational part? The, uh, the, the habitation is around 135, 150, and the service is around just, just over 200 to have the actual service. Right, and the habitation, is that something that's got to be done every year? Every it is every year, years? every year. Right. And the first service for the actual engine wise, everything, that's two years. Right, and the habitation, I'm assuming they cover the gas and the electrics and water yeah, or Yeah, fri fridge, every, yeah. Go, they go around where they don't need to check, things like that, yeah. Right. And in relation to this, as opposed to a standard van, uh, insurance-wise, because obviously it's a recreational vehicle, I think we cast it as a recreational vehicle as well, um, to insure it, are they expensive to insure? It, it, for it, it, was the, it was more or less the same price as what it was for my, for my previous motorhome. Right. And I, the, 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 I pay £259 a year, and that's on oh. 6,000 miles. Wow. Wow, amazing. Um, did you do, what, when you decided you were going to downsize from a motorhome to a camper van, um, did you do a lot of research on camper vans that you, you know, did you look at many or, or what made you decide that you wanted to go for um, the auto trail? Well, 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 the first thing was we, we had like a budget, a price range. So yeah. I looked at all the, all the vans, the camper van conversions that were sort of in our price range. So I, I looked at more or less everyone that was on the market yeah. and we just fell in love with this particular model. Right. And is this a box standard one? No, no, this, is, this, has, got, this has got extras on it. I mean, like solar panel, which is plus outside barbecue, which most of the vehicles do, I think do, do, you, do now. You said to us that you bought this at the show. Uh, the, the, you the, were the, sold this at yes, the yes, show. Yes, yes, I, 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 I placed NEC. an order at the NEC Motorhome show in uh, last October. Right. 
Right, and you just asked for additional extras to be put No, the, the, what it was, the, it, there was an, a, 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 at the show, there was an um, offer on uh, the sport pack and the media pack. So they basically, they, they were providing that as no extra cost. And that's, what, and that's one of the main reasons I purchased it at the show, because well. I was getting about £4,000 worth of extras. Are you, at any stage, are you thinking in the future that you're going to be travelling abroad in it? Well, th this is another one of the main reasons we've actually bought it. Um, obviously, size, which you've got to think about when you're going to get on the ferry. Yeah. What bracket am I going well, to be you only in? pay for one vehicle as opposed to a car and yeah. a caravan. No, but it's, but, it's on, but it's on size. Yeah. It's on, you, well, that's another thing you have to think about when you're going abroad on the ferry. What size is the vehicle? Because they're categorised, it could be more if it's longer. Yeah. Unless it's a bit shorter. Oh, so, right. so, and, that, and that's something to think about as well. Right, and, and on going, keeping on the size, um, if you take the vehicle and you go to um, a car park, for example, be it Ses, uh, Sainsbury's or Tesco's or somewhere like that, do so your shopping, um, do you have to take up two car parking Correct. spaces? Correct, it does. Um, okay, so something that I know a lot of people would want to know who are thinking about doing this is, you're pitched here, I think you're here for five days or four days? Something like four that? nights. Four nights, so assuming uh, I mean, your water tank is on board and your wastewater is on board. Correct. Um, if you were here for, say, a week um, and you had to empty the uh, the wastewater, you obviously you've got to go to um, the recycling, you know, not the recycling, but the motorhome. and the, the most disposable point. To disposable point, point on a campsite. So yes. if, if that was the case, I mean, would you have to pack up everything um, and drive it and take the awning down and pack everything up and... Correct. To, to Correct. You do. You would. You would have to. Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, how do you find it to drive? Very, very easy. I know it sounds daft. I know it's it's a van, but it, see, it drives just to me just like a car. Right. Like, that's what that's what I find. Yeah. The only thing what I will say to people is because this is a long wheelbase, you have got to take into consideration what is what is behind you. Yeah. But I, I personally myself, I find it. I have no problem with it at all. No right. problem at all. And, and one of the advantages as well with the reversing camera, as well. You've got a reversing camera. Got a reversing yeah. camera, so that, 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 that does help, obviously, when I'm, par when I'm parking. Yeah. 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 And, sorry, and with this model, you can actually have the reversing camera on when you're driving. So I could actually see, if anything got close, no, I could actually see vehicles that come into, the, to my, to, into my space. Yeah. Now, this is a question, um, I mean, your wife's sitting over there, so maybe we should have asked her, but... Um, how do you find the storage? Because obviously, at the end of the day, it is a van. It is a converted van. Um, so, although we just had a look at it, and there is a lot of storage space, um, I mean, there's there's more in a caravan or in a bigger vehicle. So, Correct. how do you find sort of when you're coming away, you know, what you bring along, as in, in as far as storage wise? Regarding storage, you you, you are correct. There is there is a, a a lot of storage, but what I think people have got to think about as well is what you're actually storing size what bedding Be bedding is a, a problem if you've got your quilt sleeping bags if you look at the size of the cupboards the cupboards are even though there's a lot there are quite limited space even under the beds so we have to put we have to put our bed in one goes under one side of the uh, where we sit and the other after we have to roll it up and put it beyond the beyond the the, the passenger seat right well, there, because we have, because basically there is no room. There's literally no room to put two quilts or two yeah. sleeping bags. So people have got, to, you've got to me. You've got to consider what you're storing as well as the storage space you've got. Like I, I would like uh, an awning, but then well, it, as in a clothes, as in a closed awning. Yes. The only way I think about it is where am I going to store it? Yeah. Yeah. I know it will go in my garage, but then it limits me what other things I could take as well. And with us going to Europe for five, like we're going for five months. What am I going to have to leave to get the, these things? That, that, you, that, and that's what you've got to think about, what you're you, storing as well. Could you possibly put a roof rack on? I don't know. I mean, is it something you could uh, it's do? It's not, 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 not something I would want to do. Yeah. I'm sure you could get one of the, the, the boxes that would fit on, but then I've got to have a ladder. Yeah, to get on the back. Yeah. On the back to get it. And that's going through the, the panel work, which I, I, don't, I don't want. Yeah. I don't want. I just talking about stories. I mean, a, a couple of days when you we were chatting um, at our caravan, and, and you were saying about the towels, you use microfiber towels. Yeah. I mean, we, well, both Michelle and I, when we saw those towels, I couldn't believe it. I mean, they're lighter than our flannels. Correct. You know, and they take up no space. I think you showed us how big. So things like microfiber yeah, towels. Yeah. You, you, I suppose it's about being minimalistic. Exactly. Isn't it? it is when you're going away for a, a, a length of time. Which we 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 will be doing. Yeah. So that's what you got to think about. Just not just what that what the weight of them are as well. 
Yeah, that's another thing you've got to consider. Brilliant. And I suppose, um, for example, our caravan, um, we have to, because of the size of it, we have to have that in storage. So, and we pay, I think it's about just £750 a year for storing it. Um, and that does go on size. So if you've got a twin axle, for example, um, or even an eight metre wide one now, they do charge you extra. Um, how, how do you find storage? I mean, do you store this in storage? No, it, uh, it, it's parked on the front of the house and the drive. And that was oh, another th brilliant. thing. When, when, when people are buying, they've got to consider kind of where can, can I park? You, yeah. So do you have any, um, I mean, parking on the drive, what about like the neighbours? Do they sort of like well, turn their nose up at it and think, oh, I don't park back there. I've got friends coming over or my mother-in-law coming over. Well, I'm quite lucky actually because my next door neighbour's got a, an auto trail motor home as well, oh. so he, which is on the front of his house. Right. And two away, I've got somebody who's got a caravan. So right. well, we're quite lucky. We've never, never had no issues. And just no. on that front, so parking it at home, I mean, security wise, do you have to wheel clamp it or? No, I've, it's, it, um, um, whether people realise this now, but any vehicle, can, can I mention the cost about what? Absolutely, over, uh, it, yeah, you, you just... Be... So obviously, when, when, I bought, when I bought this vehicle, which I ordered last October, from, now, from then till now, the vehicle has actually gone up six, nearly £6,000. So now it's gone over 55000 I've had to have a Thatcham yeah. Category 1 alarm fitted to it. Right. Yeah. And I believe that the, what the insurance company was telling me, any ve any, any vehicle, like now, caravan, motorhome, camper van, if they're over 55,000, they have to be fitted with a Thatcham category one alarm. Yeah, um, I mean, I know we told you the story a few days ago that we, we've had our caravan stolen, we had our caravan stolen um, back in 2016. And when the insurance company paid out and, and bought us a new one that we've got over there, um, they carried on insuring us. Um, and remarkably, as I've said in many of our videos, it, 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 the insurance was actually cheaper, ironically, uh, on this one than it was on the old one, because um, we had to have a tracker, we had to have an alarm, Thatcham alarm, um, we had to have specific wheel security clamps. The alcohol locks. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, so, uh, I mean, the, the, do, do you have a tracker on this as well? No, I don't, don't have a tracker. Right. No, no, right. no. Okay, so I think the last question um, for, certainly for our viewers who have never, who are maybe just be thinking about getting into this industry um, and which vehicle, that they, which leisure vehicle they want, so what sort of advice would you give any, anybody new who's thinking about buying a, um, a camper van? What advice would you give? The, 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 the first thing what you've got to consider is, can I drive it? Yeah. That's, that's, that, but that, you said that anyone can drive this well, on uh, any... Yeah, that's, my, that's, my, that's my opinion. To me, it, even though it, is, it doesn't drive, it, it's hard to explain to you. It doesn't drive like a, a it just, to me it drives like a car. Right. Six, it's obviously six speed box crew. It's got, it's got all the, the kit on, the kit on it that what what, what, what a car would have. Yeah. So to me, and I mean that's, that's, that's my opinion. I, I, you've got the main thing: can I drive the vehicle? Yep. And then it comes to what to me when I'm buying. The reason I bought this, if you don't, it's got, it's got no rear doors. Right. So the, I, I like the tip for the storage space. Yeah. What you call the garage. Yeah. And that to me that that was a big selling point for me for the. For what we're we're going to be using the vehicle for for yeah. five months away, I'm going to be taking extra things. And the garage is where most of the vans people most know that they've got double doors that open at the back. Yeah. And we we we, we didn't want that. So, so if you've this, got the double doors, you're yeah. going to have the garage. But that's what people got to think. People have got to think about what has the vehicle got to offer. Yeah. For, for for what for what you're going to be using it for. Yeah. That, that's 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 my opinion. That's where I'm going away for. A, a distance. It's the things I'm going to be taking that I'm going to be need for far, sort of a, a period of time. But regarding p p that's what people have got, got to think about, and it's not going to be um, height height wise is a, uh, a to me is a plus as well. Most of the car parks you can go the back you can, you'll, you can get these vehicles in. Right. So that's, that's another thing you've got to consider, consider about. It's where I had my coach built before. I couldn't, when you said about, couldn't go on really pu many public car parks. No. There was the one, one or two you could fight, but the time we've turned up, they've been, they've been full. So yeah. that's, what, that's, that's, what you, that's what you got, you, you have to really think about what the vehicle is going to be used for. Right. And is there anything you would say if you are going to buy a, um, a camper van, make sure you get this or this or this, because you know, obviously you can bolt extras on. Yeah, I mean, one of the, one of the big, to me, the advantages that we've never had on the caravan, that we've never had on the, the coach build, is the solar panel. 
And to yeah. me now, was that an, that was an extra? On that, this? that was that. Uh, it, it was it was an extra. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. A part of the, the the deal. But I think now they are standard. Okay. I think they are. I think. So uh, what's that sort of a hundred uh, watt? Yeah. So it is hundred watt. watt. And to me, th that that's that's a big thing. As where I had the motor home, I was always plugged into the mains at home. Yeah. As where now, because I've got the solar panel. I don't need to. So if you think of that, I'm saving money in that way because yeah. I'm not using my electric because yeah. I've got the solar panel Absolutely. It's tickling the to battery. do that. So I recommend anybody that's going to go into caravanning or any motorhome is a solar panel. Yeah. I, oh, think I, I, I totally I, agree. I think that is a... I wouldn't my, my, buy... My, yeah, yeah, I mean, now, I, we wouldn't buy a caravan without... And if, you know, without a, well, you've a solar you've got, panel. Obviously, you've got one yourself. So, yeah. so you, you know what yeah. I'm talking about. But it, our, our caravan is kept in storage, um, as we right. told you. Um, so for us, to leave it in storage uh, throughout the whole year, including, you know, the winter months when maybe we're not using it for a month or so, yeah. uh, to know that it's, it's even just getting a little trickle charge as opposed to having to plug it in somewhere to, yeah. or take the battery out yeah. to um, think. Correct. Correct. I think you've answered everything that uh, hopefully people would want to know. And thank you very, very You're much welcome. indeed for taking the time to chat to us today. You're very welcome. Um, and hopefully you find that interesting. That was really interesting. It was, and Ian was so forthcoming, yes, wasn't he? He was really a helpful. Great, Lots great of guy. Lovely, I think lovely that, man. That was, I'm hoping that that was really useful for you. Yeah. Um, I particularly, sorry, I found it really, really interesting. Yeah, as we said at the uh, top of this video, we've got some, some flies, flies around here. <laughs> as we said at the top of the video, we weren't, this is not about reviewing uh, his camper van. I mean, it is beautiful. Um, and they love it. They do love yeah. it. They do love it. I think they were yeah. saying they're going to stay an extra, an extra day, maybe. <laughs> um, we've, we're blessed with this weather. Yeah, beautiful weather beautiful again. Beautiful weather again. So, <laughs> anyway, on that note, if you are thinking about either a caravan or a motorhome or a camper van, hopefully that will maybe answer some questions yeah. that I hope I asked the questions I asked the questions that you guys would want yeah. to know. So, yeah. if you've got any more questions about that, then please put them in the comments. And uh, I know Ian will be watching and he will hopefully answer any comments that you have yeah, um, and yeah. help you. Yeah, absolutely. He's going to um, monitor, um, you know, any of the comments, as Michelle has just said. So anyway, I think we've gone on long enough on this one. Yeah, so yes. um, I know it's a long video, really sorry. We're going to enjoy the sun and get a bit of sun shining. Yes. So on yeah. that note, um, if you've liked what you've seen today and you haven't already, please feel free to subscribe to our channel. There will be a little caravan appears over Michelle's left shoulder. And um, if you do subscribe, make sure you hit the notifications button and then you'll get notified of every time we upload a new video. And on that note, it just says, uh, it's just for us to basically say thank you so much to... Ian and Tony. Ian and Tony. I'm terrible with names. <laughs> Ian and Tony. Thanks, guys. And their auto trail. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> and thank you very much indeed for watching. And... See you next time. Till the next time. See Thanks. you next time. Bye. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.